Since the game's debut in 1974, the series has yet to produce a movie that has fully connected with viewers or properly captured the spirit of a Dungeons & Dragons adventure. We have everything you need if you haven't yet been introduced into the D&D universe. D&D is a well-known tabletop role-playing game with an open-ended and cooperative structure that was first released in 1974. It's rooted in storytelling. Would we even be discussing a Dungeons & Dragons movie right now if it weren't for Stranger Things, with the Hawkins boys being the well-known D&D enthusiasts in modern popular culture? Whatever the case, the early 1970s tabletop dice-based RPG game still evokes strong feelings of nostalgia in many people and has had a significant impact on both board and video game design. Despite being widely accepted in society, Dungeons & Dragons have failed on both the big and small screens, with the 2000 movie starring Jeremy Irons and Marlon Wayans gaining the most savage criticism of them all. Both the prequel and its sequel, which were both direct-to-video releases and made for television, received negative reviews and performed poorly at the box office. A typical D&D game consists of four or five players, as well as a dungeon master. Together, the characters create an adventuring party that primarily focuses on a quest while collaborating to make their way through the fictional ground. The plot of the film is rough as follows. In the kingdom of Izmir, wizards use their magic to rule the land. The young Empress Savina, who wants to use magic for good but the evil Profion has other ideas, reflects the conflict between good and evil. He'll try to use his influence to seize Savina's throne and establish a totalitarian rule in the kingdom. Savina sets out to take control of the even more powerful Red Dragons, while Profion manages to take control of the Golden Dragons. Savina succeeds in accomplishing her goal by gaining the support of a diverse group of individuals along the way. The upcoming Dungeons & Dragons movie, which will be released in 2023, assures to be bigger and better than previous films based on the renowned fantasy board game. There hasn't been a movie in the D&D franchise since the game's debut in 1974 that has fully connected with viewers or captured the essence of a D&D adventure. Dungeons & Dragons were adapted for the big screen by Courtney Solomon in 2000 in a version starring Jeremy Irons and Marlon Wayans that turned out to be a major critical and commercial flop. Two more direct-to-video films were released throughout the 2000s, both of which received negative reviews from critics. The Dungeons & Dragons movie has a history of delaying its release date, so before we start celebrating, we should warn you. The movie was originally scheduled to debut in July 2021, but due to scheduling issues and issues with COVID-19, the premiere was moved up to May 2022, then finally to the current release date of March 2023. Now we're hoping that March the 3rd, 2023 remains the same date. In the upcoming Dungeons & Dragons film, which is being directed by Game Night creators Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly, a group of adventurers will face off against traps, monsters, and of course, some fire-breathing reptiles while on a dangerous quest for a lost relic. But who exactly are the players? The film will feature some of Hollywood's biggest names, with Chris Pine starring as Elgin in one of the lead roles. According to Pine, he called the character the ultimate party planner. Michelle Rodriguez co-stars as a barbarian named Holga, while Hugh Grant plays the film's main antagonist, an aristocratic rogue named Forge Fletcher. Hugh Grant's name in the cast caught a lot of people off guard, not because he plays a supporting role, but because he portrays the story's main antagonist. Justice Smith plays a sorcerer by the name of Simon, Reggae John Page, a paladin with the name of Zenk, and Sophia Lillies, a tiefling druid called Doric. Jason Wong, Daisy Head, and Chloe Coleman round out the cast. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. According to co-director Jonathan Goldstein, a well-known D&D player will make one significant cameo in the movie. Two obvious possibilities should come to mind when considering who the surprise cameo might be. Vin Diesel is arguably the most well-known D&D enthusiast alive, and it just so happens that Michelle Rodriguez, his longtime Fast and Furious co-star, stars in Honor Among Thieves and has mentioned in numerous interviews that she has attempted to get Diesel to appear in the movie. Another obvious candidate is Justice League actor Joe Manganiello, who runs a well-known D&D game for Hollywood celebrities and has unsuccessfully attempted to start a D&D movie project for years. Manganiello's cameo would be seen as a reward for his efforts. According to the trader, the story will follow a typical D&D adventure with plenty of mythical creatures, both Dungeons and Dragons, and Reggae Jean Page kicking ass with a huge sword. Due to the meticulous attention to detail that Dungeons and Dragons players and game masters are known for, the recently released trader for the upcoming Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves will undoubtedly be examined closely. 
This might be the reason behind Paramount Pictures' decision to include details in the first trailer that are exclusive to D&D players. The action-packed trailer featured a shot of Chris Pine and his fellow explorers dodging a vicious animal that resembled a panther. This monster is another early session staple of D&D campaigns, despite the fact that the Displacer Beast did not use its signature ability in the trailer. It's still capable of projecting illusions of itself to trick its prey. As a result of the Displacer Beast ability, interactions with it can be entertaining because they require adventurers to rely on more than just their fighting prowess to survive. The adventurers appear to land in an odd-looking transparent gelatinous cube as they dive to avoid the Displacer Beast. Some spectators might have been baffled by seeing this strange cube in the corner of what appeared to be an arena. One of the first monsters in the history of Dungeons & Dragons is that particular piece of gelatin. Since the first D&D edition, this predator has been prowling the dungeons and trying to trap adventurers in its acidic ooze. In order to find a lost relic and escape a horde of powerful opponents, our band of morally dubious heroes will travel through the Forgotten Realms and investigate dangerous dungeons. The action-packed finale of the trailer shows the characters seemingly engaged in battle with a huge red dragon. That dragon appears to be none other than the horrific Themberchowd. The familiar opponent known as Themberchowd is a terrifying dragon that lives in a dwarven city in the Underdark and has made numerous appearances in Dungeons & Dragons media. Regardless of how he's portrayed in the film, surviving him won't be simple. With the above summary in mind, it appears that the movie will not be a D&D adaptation, but will instead present a fantasy adventure set in the Forgotten Realms. Many viewers question whether the upcoming movie would adopt a meta approach to the narrative of a tabletop role-playing game. This refers to the idea that players are aware that they are participating in a game, as demonstrated in movies like Game Night and Jumanji. However, it appears that the new Dungeons & Dragons movie will instead feature a straight fantasy plot that is brought to life by an in-game campaign. According to Chris Pine, the film is both a serious adventure and full of satirical fun, much like the classic comedies Princess Bride and Monty Python's The Holy Grail. As a result, it sounds like you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell, so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. No, but seriously, there will still be plenty of references to playing D&D and self-aware humor regarding the fantasy genre and all its tropes for us to enjoy, even though the movie won't show bad roles or hilarious player debates with their dungeon masters. It appears that the new D&D film will live up to all expectations and that the 22-year wait for a new remake was worthwhile. See you in the next video.